Now, it was uh, only a matter of time until Republicans decided to elect another reality TV star. Now, this time, it happened to be in Nevada. Now, Republicans having elected uh, Trump don't see that as an issue. In fact, they love Trump. They're like, oh, reality TV host? No, that just means he's successful. He's successful, he's rich, he's wonderful, he's going to mega, right? Now, there is one thing in this specific Nevada race that should have been an issue for some pro-family Republicans. You see, this candidate, this Republican that won in this district happens to also be a pimp. No, I'm not kidding. He's a literal pimp. Uh, now, this is Dennis Hoff. Now, Dennis Hoff is, of course, is a, is a reality TV host who also is the owner of several legal brothels in Nevada. There are certain counties where prostitution is legal. Hey, I'm fine with that. Uh, now, uh, last night, he ended up beating a three-term incumbent for the chance to face off against a Democrat, Lazia Romanoff, in November's elections. Now, what's interesting is this is supposed to be um, the, the Republican. This is a, a heavily conservative district, so he is the favorite to win. Well, Mr. Hoff's holdings include the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, where the HBO reality program Cat House was filmed. Hmm. Now, look, as I said, I, I don't have a problem with legal prostitution. I, I think it's your body. If, you know, you do what you want, it's, it's that line of work. Um, and it's a, it's a perfectly, I think, fine line of work. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about legal pimps. <laughs> um... Obviously, I'm concerned about working conditions and exploitation, right, for, for the sex workers themselves. So, okay, you know, whatever. That's actually not my issue with this person, right? My issue uh, is that he is a Trump sycophant. That's my problem. Now, the 71-year-old calls himself, quote, the Trump of Parump, the name of the town he hopes to represent, and has written a book called The Art of the Pimp. Yeah. A little bit of a, I guess, a spin on Art of the Deal. Which, by the way, Donald Trump didn't e actually even write that book. But anyway, uh, The Art of the Pimp. Now, he even held a rally with uh, Roger Stone. Roger Stone, of course, is a longtime Donald Trump advisor. Now, he celebrated his primary victory uh, alongside Heidi Fleiss. Uh, and she said, I'm sorry, and he said, quote, this victory is all because Donald Trump was the Christopher Columbus for me. He found the way and I jumped on it. Now, now, that is actually a pretty apt um, description there uh, because Christopher Columbus, of course, came in and murdered all the indigenous people. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I'm just saying left a gigantic trail of destruction, took it over for his own. That sounds a lot like President Trump, actually. He took over the Republican Party, left a giant trail of destruction, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, but anyway. Now, the other problem with that, of course, is that this is a reliable vote for Trump's policies. Now, those policies have not been very kind to sex workers. For example, uh, President Trump signed FOSTA-SESTA earlier this year. Now, FOSTA-SESTA, of course, harms sex workers uh, and also creates internet censorship. Now, what it did is that uh, it basically um, exempted a section of, uh, or I'm sorry, exempted Section 230 of the 1996 Communications Decency Act. Now, that act says, quote, <clears throat> No provider or user of an interactive computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any information provided by another information content provider. Now, that basically means that if somebody, if you have an internet service, right, uh, or if you have a website and somebody posts, like, illegal stuff on your comment board, you don't get in trouble for that, for hosting that site. That seems sensible, right? Hey, man, I just have a forum... And then somebody decided to put 
I don't know, uh, links to prostitution or, or trafficking or whatever in that link. Well, why am I, like, I didn't post it there. Why am I in trouble? Uh, well, this uh, exception to Section 230 in FOSTA-SESTA basically means that website uh, publishers would be responsible if those third parties are found to be posting ads for prostitution, including consensual sex work on their platform. So that's really, really bad for website owners. And of course, that creates internet censorship that removes safe, uh, a lot of safe harbors for people that are in the sex work industry, even in places where it's legal, like Nevada, in, in some parts of Nevada. Las Vegas, of course, is exempt. That's in Clark County, uh, which has banned the practice. So, and again, I don't agree with banning the practice, and I don't agree with FOSTA-SESTA. I understand that it was put there for... To, to, to fight against trafficking, but you're actually not fighting against trafficking. You're actually making it harder for people to get out of trafficking. And you're putting them in more danger. Uh, now, how does this have to relate to uh, this guy running in Nevada? Well, Donald Trump, as I said, just hurt people in the sex industry. So please tell me how Donald Trump has been really good for your business. Just saying. Now, as far as Republican voters, he won the primary. He beat a three-term incumbent. Well, I thought Republicans always went out there and claimed that they were the party of family values. And I, and I put that in quotations because, to be honest, what they do is that they claim that they're uh, pro-family values, but they're actually not. Pro-family is more of a way to basically, um, it's a code word for we hate gay people. That's basically what it is. Uh, but of course, like, oh, no, no, family values, family values. We're, 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 for, we're pro-family, we're against uh, indecency. Well, I mean, in your opinion, wouldn't uh, sex work be indecent? Again, this isn't my opinion. Uh, this is their opinion. And yet you had enough Republican voters to vote this guy into office. And look, or, or to advance him to a, a general election in which he could theoretically end up in office because, again, uh, that district is heavily conservative. And so this guy seems to be a front runner. So, look. These voters, they're not pro-family at all. They voted for a pimp because he likes Donald Trump. It doesn't matter what he does. Again, this is the same party where a, a, a lot of people ended up voting for a pedophile. Look, I'm pro-sex worker, right? But is, seriously, you guys, you're going to vote for this guy because he likes Donald Trump? Okay, well, I don't want to see another Nevada Republican scream about so-called moral decay. It's the hypocrisy. They're not pro-life. They're not pro-family. And that party continues to prove that over and over and over again. And also that they're not pro-freedom. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.